Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at selection, which is a very useful thing to be able to do. Because what it's doing, it's saying, let's mark out an area of the picture. And then anything I do afterwards, I want it to happen inside that marked area, but not outside. So now we can say, we just want to work on a bit of the picture as opposed to the whole picture. To do that, there are various ways of making selections. And there are actually very few that I use all the time. But for this one, I'm going to use down here, it's got a rectangular mark key tool there. I'm going to use this one. And remember, because it's got a little triangle, it means this more if I right click on that, there's other things I can do. But we're just going to use the rectangle because it's simple and it's enough to explain. So when I draw this, it means I click, drag, and then let go of the mouse button. I've now got an area here which I've selected, and it's got these dotted line around it that's moving. It's sometimes called marching ants or marquee, but I like marching ants. Now, if I do something, it'll only happen in here. So, for example, let's take the paintbrush tool and whatever selection there, there, that's in green. And as I go over here, see, it shows where I, what will happen if I paint. It's only happening inside there. So I use the left square bracket to make it a bit smaller. My pressed out here, click, hold down the mouse button, and I drag it across here. So it's only appearing inside, then not outside. So anything that happens is inside here. What you can do with a brush as well, remember the hardness there. So I could turn the hardness down. And then when I paint, it's got a soft edge to it. This sort of thing you can do as well in selecting, but it's called feathering. So if I just control Z to undo to go back out again to this, go back out to the rectangular marquee tool there, and this is the feathering here. That's what this means. So this is useful to know. So if I draw a rectangle, but I say, let's make the feathering just come up to here. So I clicked on it little down arrow and dragged upwards. And now if I draw a rectangle. Let's draw a big one across here like this. Notice it's curved now because what's happened, it's feathered it. In other words, it's made it soft. And this little thing at the top here is useful for this. If I click on that, the red bit shows me where it's not been selected. And so it means now I can do something with this. So I click on that again, just to, so that's useful to see where I've done it and what is soft. I can now go to something like Vibrance over here, because then I might do an adjustment. It'll only happen inside this area. And so if I say, turn the saturation down, look what's happening here. It's going black and white, but only inside here, but in a soft way. We can see this better. If I click Merge to keep that, say, I can see this better if I go to select, select there and then deselect. And this is the way to get rid of those dots. So hit control D if you like, or deselect. And now I made an interesting frame to a, looks like a black and white picture, but with a bit of color around the edge. So that's another way that's interesting. When you're selecting, by the way, notice that these, you need to pay, pay attention to these. Don't worry about intersect, that's very seldom needed. But if I, select an area like this and then maybe say I'll leave the feathering low for the next one and say I want to add an area. If I click on add then I can add separate bits and these are all work together. I can also click on subtract and then draw over it and sort of delete bits which is quite useful when you want to sort of, you've started off, you've drawn something and you want to add extra bits or take little bits off. But that, beware of this. If you leave it on subtract, it will stay in on subtract. So next time you use it, you'll be trying to draw something and it's not appearing. And this got me when I first started using it. And if you look at the cursor up there, you see this little minus on there? That shows that subtract. If I click on add, there's little plus. And if I click on new, then every time I draw, if I do another one, it just starts from the beginning again. And I often use it on new, leave it on new, because that's where I will tend to use it mostly. Anyway, that's enough for now. That's a quick overview of what subtraction is. And you can, sorry, selection is. And you can see 
how it begins to be used. In particular, it lets you say, I'm going to do something only in this area. Let you work on part of the picture. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.